guys, so decided to start on another project even before we finish that one. Uh, we really want seedlings, so I'm going to make a mini greenhouse based on plants from some guy that I will put, I will say later because I don't remember right now. But basically, I'm cutting uh, eight pieces of two by four by eight down to seven feet ten inches. And I have a whole bunch of wood that I'm gonna use. I just thought I'd show, I cut one down, this one that's on top, and then I am just lining up on one side, coming over here, and marking. And then I move it to the next two by four, and I line it right here, and I move over to this side, and mark it. It's just slightly easier than marking everything or having to always go back to mark it. Okay, all the long pieces are cut. Now I need 20 42 and a half pieces. So I'm almost done because the sun's going down. But what I did is I put the first frame together using the square, making sure that it's square and now I am going and I'm building the second frame right on top of the first so I can just use that and not have to worry about the square and then I have one more frame two more frames to assemble but I might just wait for tomorrow because I'm running out of daylight next part of the project drilling the holes I suppose if you aren't in a high wind area you could probably just set on top of the ground but we have like 80 mile an hour wind sometimes so we're just gonna anchor it at four points we've gone ahead and uh, laid this frame out on the ground and then just use a pipe to mark the corners and we've got drill uh, about two holes drilled we're gonna drill the other ones over here somewhere and then Oh, yep, I see it. And then we'll be good to go with the installation of the corner posts. So we have all four holes dug over there, and then I just started put, putting the posts up. Uh, I wasn't sure how to do that, but I started from the top. It's Right now it's flipped upside down. I started from the top, made sure that the post was uh, 90 degrees to that bottom one on all four corners. And then I used spacers to put the second row. I was hoping to just put one row before putting it in there so it's easier to maneuver. But I'm guessing it's easier to put all the rows now before I put over there. So I'll probably have to get some help. Maybe call Otis to help us a little bit. So I put the first shell. I put the top and the shelf. And then I got, now I have two more shelves to put up. Now we just need to tamp it down, add rocks, and make sure that they're level. I don't know, it looks perfect to me. It looks totally twisted to me. <laughs> I don't know if you can get it on the video, but this one looks like it's oh. higher here, lower there, it higher is. there, lower here. <laughs> you 
these spacer blocks there, right? Yes. So, but it looks twisted. Yeah, even the even the one above it looks twisted too. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. It's just the whole thing is probably twisted right now. Uh huh. So we're gonna have to level it. <laughs> Almost there, and then we just oh, need to wrap it in plastic. And yep, this is all the random stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're gonna stop for today. Uh, it's all in. We tamped all around it, all four posts. And um, I don't know where the level went, but it's all level all around it. And I wish I had more daylight the sun's going down to do the two doors that are gonna go on the front and then this by the way is the part where it's not part of the guy who made it originally um, so I'm gonna do two doors for the front and then one panel on the back one panel on each side and that's all gonna be covered in plastic and then for the bottom um, I was gonna use, I have some 2x6s that are like that plastic -y wood thing, decking, that we got super discounted, so I'm just gonna put it on the bottom, and then gonna fill it with hay, um, that we have here decomposing already, so it will help insulate a little bit, and as it decomposes, it will warm up the greenhouse. Oh, and I'm gonna put one on the top to, uh, a frame with plastic. Um... So that's about it. It's pretty solid, not 100%, but I mean, it wiggles a little bit, but it's pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. And tomorrow I get to work on it again, but it's Monday, so I won't have as much time as I did today and yesterday. But we're getting there. So I didn't like the... Um, the wire on here, I couldn't stretch it far enough, so I ended up using the uh, one by twos that were supposed to go on the roof to make the um, to make slats on the shelves. Um, now I don't have enough, so I will have to do that. But it started raining and I had to stop, so I guess that's it for today. And I'll get some more of these probably by the end of the week. And gonna finish the shelves for it and then gonna wrap it in plastic for a greenhouse. <laughs> you want an Oreo? Okay, here you go. Go away with your recording. <laughs> Downside of losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.